This video is to cover on how to adjust your Sidewinder arm chains on your new way automated Sidewinder trucks. Remember to follow all proper lockout and tagout procedures while completing this procedure. Before we start, let's go over the tools that you will need to accomplish this job. You will need a 1 and 1 half inch wrench, a 1 half and 9 16 inch sockets and drive, and our arm adjustment tool, part 129141. You can also have a 1 and 1 half inch offset wrench if that's not required, but it does help out the job. We designed the arm adjustment tool to make the job easier. You can use a tape measure to adjust the arm as well. If you do not have the tool, you can use a tape measure. Measure each side from the bottom of the inner horizontal mass rollers to the lift arm. The perfect measurement is 2 and 3 quarter inches or 70 millimeters. Now the first step we need to do is to move the arm out a little bit just to gain access to the front and the back side of the vertical mast. Again, remember to follow all proper lockout and tagout procedures. Remember, safety first. The next step after locking and tagging out the equipment is to measure the current alignment of the arms with the alignment tool. You do this by sliding the L part of the alignment bracket up to the bottom of the vertical mast as shown here in this picture. You will have to push on the arm towards the truck itself to make sure the slack and the chain is taken out and the measurement tool can measure the chains properly. Here you can see the arms are a little bit further out causing a gap at the L part of the mast. If the alignment is perfect, the L part will touch both the bottom and the side of the vertical mast and each of the fingers of the tool will touch the arms. This picture here shows that the arm is too close to the truck. You can see the gap in between the tool and the arm while the bottom of the tool is flush with the mast. Here we see an example where the arms are too far away from the truck or out and the L part of the tool has a gap on the left hand side between it and the bottom mast as shown here. Now this is just a real slight gap. It doesn't have to be perfect but the better it is or the closer it is to perfect the longer the service life of all the components will be. Okay now it is time to actually adjust the chains. It is easiest and best to adjust one side at a time. This way it just makes it simpler and you don't chase yourself around. Start by first loosening the chain opposite of the one that you need to tighten. Otherwise you'll just be fighting the tightness of the other chain and you won't get anywhere. To move the arm towards the truck, first loosen the bottom nut and then tighten the top. To move arm away from the truck, first loosen the top and then tighten the bottom. Before we can actually adjust the nuts, we first have to remove the keepers seen here. There are keepers both on the bottom and the top. Here the bottom ones are shown. Here again is the procedure to adjust the chains. Always adjust one side at a time. Always loosen the opposite nut to be tightened before you try to tighten the other one. To move the arm towards the truck, First loosen the bottom and then tighten the top. To move the arm away from the truck, first loosen the top and then tighten the bottom. Here are some helpful hints. If you feel the nut getting tighter, harder to turn, it is most likely because the chain opposite, either top or bottom, is now too tight. Just go ahead and loosen the opposite nut some more. All the nuts are right hand thread i.e. from a standing position clockwise will tighten the top nuts but for the bottom nuts it will loosen them because they are upside down. There are two reasons we want to keep that opposite chain and nut loose from the one that you are tightening. One it just makes the process go a lot easier. More importantly what it does is it helps prevent too high of chain tension. Too high of chain tension will cause premature wear and more frequent need of adjustment. Here's an example of some nicely loosened top chains 
in preparation to adjust the bottom chains. For the bottom chains, loosen the nut so there's ample gap between the nut and the vertical mast. Here we are adjusting the arm away from the truck. Notice how Bud is tightening the top nut and the top chain had already been loosened. Once the chain is properly adjusted, you see here Bud is tightening the top chain, in this case, to take the deflection or the slack out of it. The proper chain tightness is that you can still move the chain slightly with your hand. It will be tight, but without any slack, similar to a guitar string. Also, remember to straighten the chain and finish. The next step is to verify the changes with the tool again. If you need to readjust, go ahead and repeat the procedure before. The final check is to operate the machine up and down three or four times and recheck with the tool again. And if needed, repeat the adjustment process again. The final step is to replace the locking nuts, the keepers. Remember to do this unless you really enjoy doing this chain tightening procedure. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos.